And they are looking for owners, not renters, at the most expensive venue of the 2010 Olympic Games. It will open its doors tomorrow morning to the people who paid for it, you. The $1.1 billion Olympic Village, also known as Millennium Water, will be celebrated with a ribbon cutting and public tours of nine suites decorated by nine different design groups. But that's tomorrow. Tonight, with hundreds of units still to be sold, we can give you an early tour. Unlocking the door to the choicest this piece of condo real estate in Canada. 2,997 square feet. The homes at the and Olympic it's, Village. It's, it's, it's you could be buying a suite one of our gold medalists slept in. This one is on the high end. A three bedroom, plus family, plus den, 2,900 square feet with breathtaking views of False Creek and downtown. Yeah. You'll see Plaza Nations eventually, eventually built out. But on the market Saturday for $4.75 million. Yachts. It's on the waterfront downtown, and your unit comes with an Olympic address. A third of the suites were pre-sales. Then the economic meltdown hit. What followed was a roller coaster ride through a shaky, uncertain economy, and 474 market units are left. $700 million in real estate on the block, half of them going on the market this weekend. Vancouver's condo king is marketing location, location, location. And you can walk over to the expo line and you can get anywhere and you can walk to Granville Island. You can get on a bus, you can use your car or your bike. So it really is tomorrow's community. The project was controversial. Billed as the best, most lavish Olympic village in history, at one point there were concerns about its completion. The economic crash forced the American financier to bail and Vancouver had to step in as the banker. The decisions taken by the previous city government have put the city at enormous financial risk. About, uh, about but given Vancouver's red-hot real estate record, those in the know didn't think the city was taking much of a gamble. It was completed in time for the Olympics. The city held back 250 units as top-of-the-line non-market social and rental housing. Welcome to your new digs, John. The mayor himself became a booster. And as the economy continues its rebound, the prized Olympic Village is for sale. And I, I feel good about it. You think the money will be made by everybody here? I, I think that everybody will make money. You know, look around. It's, it's a pretty amazing project. The village has a penthouse selling for over $10 million and a few smaller units for $429,000 but don't expect a view. It's a marketer's dream. It's already built. It's the greenest community in Canada on the last waterfront property in town. And bragging rights come with each room because they're not telling you which athletes stayed where during the games. And everybody wants to know where did Cindy, S Sidney Crosby sleep? You know, we know Somewhere over there. We know in that building. I just don't know. I don't know which suite. Probably so, a better marketing toy to let everybody believe that Sidney Crosby slept in every one of them. He may have. <laughs> Four hundred. For a mere two point one million dollars, this two bedroom plus den, fourteen hundred forty five square footer, also comes with another great view. Rennie says it may take two years to sell out. But with all the worldwide Olympic exposure, it's unlikely to take that long.